Hey guys, welcome back to Kalal Soups 808. Continuing with the Terminator theme, in the last video I did the uh, Dark Side collectible Sarah Connor in hand review. Check that out if you haven't already. I'll put a card in the corner here. Um, also, uh, the one before that, I did the Dark Side collectibles uh, quarter scale uh, T800 on bike. If you haven't uh, seen that, check that out. Card in the corner. Um, today we're going with the Pure Arts um, Art Mask T1000. Continuing with the Terminator theme, let's get to it. But first, a very quick but important message. So I'm a proud Canadian and I love our country, but I'm also a collector and as a collector we get bold on shipping, taxes, wait times, etc. What's the solution? Well, thank you for asking, mon frere. Starbase Collectibles is that solution. Founded in 2013, this Alberta business is your source for Hot Toys, Sideshow, Prime One, PCS, and other high-end collectibles. Starbase Collectibles was created with the sole intention of giving us Canadians a bit of a break. So guys, join the thousands of collectors, myself included, who have benefited from lower prices on collectibles, all thanks to Starbase. So guys, if you're in Alberta or if you're in Canada in general, check out Starbase Collectibles. They are an awesome company and you are very, very likely to save some money. And who doesn't like to save money? So follow Starbase Collectibles on Facebook and feel free to contact via email at starbasecollectibles at yahoo.ca. And with that said, let's get back into the video. So yeah, these are the uh, the one-to-one -one, uh, pure arts, uh, they call them art masks. Just because they're, I mean, I still think they're busts, but they don't call them busts because they're kind of hollow inside. Uh, but they're busts to me. They're one-to-one, -one life-size. We've got the the uh, the kind of painted one here, and then the chrome liquid metal one here. Um, they're both looking absolutely incredible, guys. Um, we'll go into the details a little bit as I walk around, but I just want to kind of give you an overview of what you're looking at here. I mean, <laughs> how cool does that look? So cool. It'd be nice uh, to just have these both together in display like this. this is, these, uh, again, belong to my buddy Mario uh, from uh, Starbase Collectibles. If you haven't checked out Starbase Collectibles, you live in Canada, I don't know what you're doing with your life, you need to check them out because you can get you some real deals on these high-end collectibles. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this is uh, the uh, the liquid metal version here. This is the simplest, so I will go into this one first. Um, these are the regular ones. Um, the only difference is with the exclusives, you get like a little hand with the, the pointy finger going up that attaches. With these, you kind of just get like the elevator prying hook, uh, which is sculpted in. That's not a separate piece. Um, but... I don't need the pointy finger because I've got my own custom hand pointy finger. So I would happily go for the regular. But this is like a nice chrome effect. Um, and what I love about this is it's textured. So this looks like really nice and shiny, smooth, shiny. And then you've got the LAPD badge here, sculpted nicely. And then this has the same kind of texturing here as the uniform on the uh, the painted version. So that's a really nice touch and it just breaks it up, right? Because you've got the liquid metal here, like it's melting and then, uh, and then that texture in there. So that's really, really nice. Because when I first saw this, I thought it's all too simple. It's all just silver, but no, they have, uh, they've taken a lot of care in uh, like the little ridges there in the, um, in the shirt top and the, the collar. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Very, very nice. So these things uh, have two positions. They hinge at the neck. I don't know if you can see it there. I'm not going to mess around with them, but there is a, a hinge here, and uh, you can kind of pop them up so that you can mount these on a wall so that they're kind of like this way. So you mount this on a wall, and then you can have the face tilted this way. So he's kind of like looking forward at you. And then same with the painted version. What I love about this is it's got the same inside of the head as the liquid metal one, obviously, because that's what it's like inside. And then the outside of it's painted, which is a beautiful contrast. I really love that. 
eye blown open uh, by uh, Sarah Connor there, I guess. And this is an actual glass eye. So if I was to buy any of these two, I would buy this one. Um, I think these are waitlisted now. I think that you can't get hold of them really. Um, but super awesome. I mean, that's Robert Patrick. That's, that's like one of the best likenesses of Robert Patrick I've ever seen. And you can tell it's all the same sculpt. Again, with the Austin police badge just kind of like melting, melting down here. Um, yeah, same ridge lines. Uh, same sculpt, exact same sculpt, but this one's got a nice glass eye and it's painted up. Uh, but yeah, the skin tones on this are looking really, really good. Eyebrows look good. The hair is sculpted perfectly with the nice, there's a couple of different tones in there. The police badge, like the gold and the silvers there, really well replicated. Um, you know, the bullet holes there, just like here. Very well done. Nice little detail on the epaulette button. Again, same exact sculpt here, just painted up. So these are the regulars. So I guess this one was um, this one was slightly more expensive. It was about, about 580 US dollars, and this one was about 550 US dollars uh, for the liquid metal one. Uh, which do you prefer, guys? Uh, I, I prefer the painted one, I think, just because I just love the contrast here uh, between the painted and the liquid metal, which you get anyway. But you can see here, that bit there is where it kind of like, that comes out and then fits into there. So it's not like a thing that like rotates. You pull that out on a peg there and you put it into this peg here. And then that's what makes that wall mounted and then like looking forward. But these are so cool and this makes such a good display. But guys, let me know what you think, comment below. If you enjoy content like this guys, there's lots of Terminator stuff on my channel. Uh, feel free to go back and check it out. Uh, like I said on the last video, uh, I did, I uh, did an in-hand review of this, the third scale uh, Sarah Connor from Darkseid. And the video before that, I did a review on this guy, the uh, quarter scale T800 on bike from Darkseid. And uh, yeah, this is my buddy Mario's cool little uh, Terminator display. Pretty awesome. Next video, I'll be doing the Star Race Rocky. So feel free to uh, stand by and check that out. All right, guys. And with that said, I will catch you in the next video. Do all the usual, like and subscribe. Thanks very much. See you later.